Welcome to another math problem of the week. Two condition, maximum value. Let's talk about it. For this question, we suppose that x squared plus y squared plus z squared plus t squared equals to 10, and the product of x, y, z, t equals to 4, where all x, y, z, and t are positive real numbers. We are asked to find the maximum value of the expression x plus y times z plus t. And the options are a, 9, b, square 82, c, square of 91, and d, 10. What do you think? Pause the video now if you wish to solve it. Keep watching the video once ready. Now we first let the expression x plus y times z plus t as p. So p square will be equal to x plus y square z plus t square. We know that x plus y square will be equal to x square plus 2xy plus y square. Using AMG inequality, 2xy will be less than equal to x square plus y square. So this will be double of x squared plus y squared. So this means that the first term will be less or equals to 2 of x squared plus y squared. And for the second term, it will be less than or equals to 2 z squared plus t squared. So this will means that this is 4 of x squared plus y squared times z squared plus t squared. Now using mg inequality again, if u, v are positive, then u plus v will be greater than or equal to 2 of square root u, v. So it means that u plus v square will be greater than or equal to 4 of u, v. So now we let x square plus y square equals to u, z square plus t square equals to v. So 4 u, v will be equal to 4 of x square plus y square times z squared plus t squared. Then this will be less than equals to everything squared, where u is equal to x squared plus y squared, and v equals to z squared plus t squared. And given that this is equal to 10, so this is 10 squared. So right now what we have is p squared less than equals to 10 squared, p less than equals to 10. So what we have so far is p is not more than 10. Can we say that the answer is equal to d? Now we need to check whether the equality holds. The equality holds if and only if from here, x equals y, z equals to t. So the equality holds, meaning that p equals to 10, if and only if x squared equals to y squared equals to z squared equals to t squared equals to a 10 over 4, that is 5 over 2. But given this condition, we are unable to get the product of x, y, z, t equals to 4. From here, we know that p is at most equal to 10. However, p cannot be equal to 10 because it cannot fulfill this condition. And therefore, d cannot be the answer. Some people will choose a because it is quite easy to get the value of p equals to 9 if x equals to z equals to 2 and y equals to t equals to 1, which will satisfy that x squared, that is 4, y squared, that is 1. So 4 plus 1 plus 4 plus 1, that is 10. And 2 times 1 times 2 times 1 is equal to 4. And in that case, p will be equal to 9. 9 is achievable, 10 is not achievable. The natural question that we want to ask is, can we get something is more than 9? Can it be b square 82 or c square 91? We will look at it again. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment and subscribe. We still let p equals to x plus y times z plus t and p squared therefore equals to x squared plus 2xy 
plus y square times z square plus 2tz plus t square. Now we are going to let a to be x square plus y square b equals to xy and c equals to z square plus t square and d equals to tz. So with this, then we know that p square will equals to a plus 2b times c plus 2d. And in this case, we have the condition that a plus c equals to 10, b times d equals to 4, and also a is greater than equals to 2b, and c is greater than equals to 2d. Based on this itself, then we know that a minus 2b times c minus 2d, this will be greater or equals to 0, greater or equals to 0, so the whole thing will be greater than or equals to 0. So which means that ac plus 4 of bd minus 2bc minus 2ad greater or equals to 0. And therefore, 2bc plus 2ad less than or equals to ac plus 4bd. We are going to use this inequality here later on. Now, so from here we will have AC plus 4 of BD plus 2BC plus 2DB. And this is exactly what we have just now. It is less than or equal to AC plus 4BD. So we have this is AC plus 4BD. This will means that this will be less than or equal to double of AC plus 4BD. Using MG and e got it again. AC will be less than equals to A plus C square over 4. And BD itself is equal to 4. So this is 4 times 4. And this is exactly equals to A plus C equals to 10. So this is 100 over 4. Is 25. 25 plus 16 is 41. So that is equals to 82. So what we have here right now is P. P square is less than equals to 82. Right? Now again, um, so this will mean that P must be less than equals to square root of 82. And we need to check whether the equality holds. So the equality holds, meaning that from here, A must be equal to 2B or C must be equal to 2D. And from here, A must be equal to C. So overall, we are right here. For this equality holds, if and only if, first of all, A has to be equal to C. And it's either A equals to 2B or C equals to 2D. Now, if A equals to C with the sum equals to 10, and each of them must be equal to a 5. So now we will have the value of A, B, C, D has to be equal to 5, 5. Now if A equals to 2B, meaning that B has to be equal to 5 over 2. And if B equals 5 over 2, D will be equal to 8 over 5. Or, because of symmetry, 5 and 5, if C equals to 2D, then this is 5 over 2, and this is 8 over 5. So there are exactly two sets of A, B, C, D will make the equality holes. But wait a minute, uh, what we want to find is not A, B, C, D, but we want to check whether with this A, B, C, D, does it exist such x, y, z, and t? Without loss of generality, we just consider this case. After some calculation, this will mean that x squared plus y squared equals to 5, xy equals to 5 over 2, z squared plus t squared equals to 5, and zt equals to 8 over 5. And this is corresponding to x equals to y equals to square root of 5 over 2. 
and Zt will be equal to square root of 8.2 plus or minus of 1.8 over 2. In other words, P equals to square root of 82 is achievable and this is one such example of x, y, z and t. This question itself is quite tricky. From the first attempt just now that we see, many people will choose D by just looking at the first condition. They forget to check that we also need to fulfill the second condition. And with some nice integer value of x, y, z and t, we are able to get the value of a, which is 9, but it is still not good enough. And after some routine calculation, the answer is b. For now, let's look at other people's response. That's all for today's lesson. I'll see you again next Tuesday. Bye-bye.